so i have interviewed hundreds of data engineers and with that experience i can say this is one skill set that if you don't have so getting into data engineering might be very difficult for you that is spark or pi spark and practicing it how to practice it how to do those all things that is the biggest issue that is the biggest problem from many of the data engineers that I, because i also guide people i also talk about many uh, data engineering stuff that i data engineering tech stacks so major problems comes ki where to practice which problems to practice because when you go to the interviews there the problems are different what we do theoretically okay so we'll be talking about that in this particular video and it is impossible firstly if you want to get into data engineering spark is one skill set that you should master for uh, definitely master or definitely be practical or comfortable with to get into data engineering so definitely and it is just not a theory like a regular theory it is not it is a practical practical and hands on skill set that you need to have in your in your skill set to get into a good data engineering job so let's talk about it there are some problems that i would uh, that would uh, i would love to highlight firstly that is setting up the cluster if you want to practice the spark or pi spark questions basically the biggest uh, problem is basically that is you have to set up the uh, clusters and all that is very painful in the local system it is very very complex to do that second thing there is no proper platform out there when i was practicing also there was not pro no proper platforms so practice in a real interview style or in a real interview questions were there so that we can go and practice and we are interview ready that is the second thing third thing that i have seen that is practical like if you are practicing on the jupiter or the collab notebooks that isn't the same as a real spark things because there are many such uh, such things that you need to handle and you need to, see, you, need to, you need to see everything like what are the locks how it is working uh, if you write these solution what will happen if you write this particular solution you add some partitions what will happen so those all things comes with the practice and comes with a proper business use case so let's talk about uh, basically how to do those things how i i have found a proper this is a website basically a web app uh, that i have found it is a great platform to practice firstly because i'll tell you th three major reasons firstly if you want to learn about spark theoretically there is a proper uh, like section where you have to, you can learn about the things practical like you can see like if you want to learn about introduction of Sp pi spark then setting up the spark plus is a session working with the csv file working because there are different different kinds of files also so you must be comfortable working with different kinds of sort of files also so those are like uh, basic pi spark terms are also there and advanced topics like date time functions math functions string functions lead lag everything is there here so definitely it is a great platform second thing is basically that is you have a cheat sheet you get the cheat sheets basically for every like uh, you get proper cheat sheets to practice here you can see now reading the csv file if you want to read the csv file there is a section just see here for the interviews it is best so definitely you can bookmark this particular website and keep it because i am going to bookmark bookmark for my interviews also when i am going for a, or preparing for it these are the small small terms that will be asked like similarly suppose you are reading some file what happens if infra schema is true and what will happen if it is false how practically it will happen what exactly it will do how spark perf uh, like how is spark differentiates between the data set if this uh, infra schema is true or false or delimiter is given as different so those all sort of technical questions can be asked to you so you can save this it is a great platform to practice this thing third thing that is the best part that is basically i'll go back i'll show you that is just go to practice or interview questions and just select the coding question if you will select you will see these sort of questions here start with this one suppose i want to just i will showcase you how to sort it out we'll just see the problem statement and how you can run and see it those all those sort of uh, also things i'll I, I, i'll just showcase you how to do this thing so firstly what is the question question is basically there is a file path already given so the question problem statement is that is you need to process a customer data set that is this customer dot csv and what you need to do you need to identify high valued customers is specifically what are the ranges there will be some business use cases given here it is given that is firstly real data will be uh, real data from the read the data from the csv using the uh, infer schema is equal to true you have to give that first thing second thing you have to filter with the customer with purchase which uh, who has purchased the amount more than 100 usd 100 dollars is other jiska bhi hai you need to filter those customers third thing also filter including the customers age that is above this one you have given the schema schema is already given and here you can see that example data is also given here you can see the data is also also there here that is alice is there then email is 
is there and age is there similarly purchase amount in usd it is there so you need to filter out the customer who is greater than 100 dollars and also the age is 30 or above than 30 th those people you need to filter and this is the output which will look like so basically if we want to solve it on our local system it is difficult firstly because you cannot run the code very easily you need to set up the cluster and all then only those things can be done but we can do it here that is we already have a spark flow playground already we have imported initialized the spark session third thing what you can do third thing you need to copy uh, like you can also copy the starter code or basically you can write it also so i'll just define it df is equal to in the small letters we'll define df is equal to spark dot read and what all options we have we have different sort of options that will be used uh, that is first option is basically dot options we'll see option firstly we need to read the file so how to read it header firstly i'll say header is equal to true like not equal to i'll say it as true true second thing what we'll do we will dot options so here i have given header is equal to true in first schema is equal to true third thing we have to just read it basically that is you have to just give the csv path csv path you can give like this and just copy paste this path so this path will be copied and pasted and this is a uh, firstly uh, this these three questions will be in the trial so you can use it directly for free you can practice for free but after this if you want to, if you want to practice more so basically you have to take their uh, like subscription so directly you can take the subscription also i'll just show in middle like pricing also just to give you an overview and just go here see the pricing like yearly about uh, 1400 14 99 that is 1500 rupees yearly subscription you will get and if you want to take monthly you can take it monthly also from here there will be an option to take monthly also so it depends on you and there is also a coupon code that is in the description also 30 percent flat off you will be getting uh, you can use this coupon code so 30 but that is a good deal basically for interview practice and for these kind of practices and all so let's go ahead in the question that is basically so i've just written the solution let me explain you basically here so here i have read this path that path was already given to me just read it and taken it into a df that is data frame just defined it and just the first condition is that is i filter the df and use the filter condition directly the greater than this one this problem statement firstly i'm applying that is i need the customers who has greater than more than 100 usds so here i am applying that and the second part that says basically that is i want the people who are greater than greater than or equal to 30 age so here i am doing that third thing basically i wanted in a specific format the a the, the data was uh, wanted in a specific format that is i wanted the customer id name and the purchase amount so similarly i have just created a refined data and just selected those columns that were required like integer type of cast uh, cast start casted directly and used at this one and if at the last i just have printed this and directly when you run it you can see the solution here so i forgot to import one function that is spark from this one directly spark pi spark function that's why it is giving as error dot sql import So after executing is you will also see here that solution is correct and directly you see this details and all everything you can see data frames are e uh, equal and this basically it will compare the data frame and also there you get an option to directly share it across on your linkedin also that is also an and directly share your uh, questions also on the linkedin or achievements on the linkedin so there is a great option i also told you that one basically you get so many options basically you need to practice you can practice these all type of questions but these are the premium ones so if you want to practice these questions you can see these questions but if you want to practice and run it so you have to take this pricing basically that is the this it is worth it definitely to practice it just if you if you want you can take it monthly if the use case is take yearly that also is possible directly take it so just tap on that and use it just use the coupon code also it will uh, like 30 percent off you'll be getting so that was uh, that was all about the video thank you so much for watching this and spark is definitely pi spark is one of the great uh, tech stack to learn as a data engineer it is very important and crucial also so definitely you should learn thank you so much